Do you want to know how you can get your hands on Swift Rakes, which go for 500ml in Bera at the moment? Well, you came to the right video. So with my series using the item pot system so much, I decided to make my first video explaining this after Solving Games asked me this a few weeks ago. The system goes hand to hand with the profession system because the rewards here are very useful to mining and herb mining. The item pot system is sort of like raising a virtual pet. You need to feed him every set hours, otherwise he withers and dies, and only after a couple of days of doing this do you get a reward. Item pots can be split between gemstone ins for mining and orange ins for herb mining. I'm only really interested in orange ins right now because juniper berry seeds are hands down the best seeds to farm, at least in Bera. If ores are worth more in your server, maybe look into gemstone imps, but regardless, whatever I say about the orange imps is exactly the same for gemstone imps. So how do we get these item pot creatures in the first place? Well, you need to farm herbs for orange imps and mines for gemstone imps from the mining patches. After you get your hands on that, you double click on the imp to start raising it. There used to be a shortcut in the inventory to access your imps, but now you can only access him through your key bindings. The process of raising your imp up is very very simple. All you have to do is feed him equips over level 100 or etc items near your level, and if you're over level 200, feed him any items from Twilight Perion. After you put them to sleep, they wake up in 21 hours, and then you feed them again. And then they wake up in 21 hours again. Don't worry about the closeness and overfeeding wardings. That means nothing, so you can ignore that. The very first time after your imp wakes, you have to feed him within 45 minutes, otherwise it dies. A lot of people mess up at this part. After you get past this point, it's so easy. They last ages after they wake up without dying. I think the latest I've ever fed it was 6 hours after he woke up. So it's really not too bad after the first time he wakes. Do this for 7 days and voila, you have your fruit which gives you a swift rake at 12.5% chance. Although here I said the imps wake up every 21 hours, you can actually manipulate that, but only for one of your imps using the alarm clock item. There are also other items you can use to speed up the process, but for me, I don't bother with those. You can get these items from also mining and herb mining, if you really want. I do this on 4 characters every day without any speed enhancers, so I get 12 sweet fruits every week. If I was bothered enough, I would do this on as many characters as I can for the easiest mesos. Seriously, you can make 500 mil off this at 12.5% chance. This is absolutely insane for the amount of effort you have to put in. But yeah, that's it. So simple, right? So now you don't have an excuse to not raise orange imps. I hope this helped some of you understand the system and make sure to comment below what you would like me to explain for my next video. Thanks.